Hey fellow Vault Dwellers, it's Angry Turtle and we just received a new update and Atomic Shop Refresh. Patch notes are already posted by Bethesda, so we'll check that in a second. Some interesting things as well, there are some new rewards uh, for Holiday Scourge, I noticed already posted on Duchess Flame website with new pictures, there's five of them. Uh, we'll be farming those Holiday Scourge, of course, really soon. Those are the new rewards, maybe more than five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so seven new rewards, not five. I don't know how I counted first time that I end up with five. Definitely seven. Okay, zoomed out a little bit so we can see them all. And we'll be farming that on Twitch as well. I do plan to update my guide with the best ways to maximize your farming efforts to unlock everything. But now let's start from Atomic Shop. So in the Atomic Shop, we have Fort Fortress bundle. The new bundle with a wooden structures includes Moonshine Brewing Workbench, Fort Fortress Kit, Hanging Lantern, Fort Fortress Partition, Fort Fortress Door, Fort Fortress walk, Wall Walk, Fort Fortress Partition Wall Walk Ladder, okay, they want to break my tongue, and Fort Fortress Stairs. Made it somehow through it. Of course, the pictures are in absolutely random order. But that's the new brewing station. Okay, looks cool, the bundle. Do I really need it? I don't think so, I have already wooden structures on many kinds. Those are a little bit different, that's true, but do I really need them? I do not, so I will not be buying. But it's nice that we have it. Then, next will be camp resources, and that's from the last week, so we already checked that out. Then, we have greatest hits, and there's some new stuff. Army of One bundle. And those are new bundles for the older items and old season items, I think both. Yeah, old season, older stuff, it's all in here. Uh, the Signalman bundle, another new bundle with not so new items. So the new on the bundle doesn't mean the items themselves are new, uh, just an indication the bundle is new. And then existing old stuff is discounted as well by 30% in here, including some nice skins and stuff. I remember using this flyboy outfit a lot because the helmet was giving the very nice soft light. I'm not 100% sure if it still does that, but it wasn't giving a light from the Pip boy but somehow from this helmet. It was a really cool feature, I don't know if it's still working. Uh, I will I will test it for you and let you know at the end of this video if the light still works like that. As I do have flyboy outfit, just didn't use it for a while. Uh, then special black suit for free, free scrap kit, champ, fifty percent off, and that is photo mode pose, not emoji. Emojis are better. Photo mode pose is not so good. If you have followed first, 50% of destroyed trailer, 40% of abandoned mine bundle, exclusive for followed first users. Next, for followed first, included currently, this is uh, outfit and backpack. We already check it out. That was from last week, two weeks ago, two weeks ago. And again, some of them repeated on this page. But is that new ketchup bundle? That's a ketchup for season 10 bundle. Okay, so that's not new. And this ketchup season 11 ketchup bundle. So, okay, that's not new. Anything new? Blue Ridge stuff was already appearing in here previously. Last six days to get it if you need it. The 30% off bundle in here. Encampment Fortress, this is cool stuff. I do have the Flying Fortress Encampment. And some Super Mutant stuff. You want to be a Super Mutant, kind of. And that's everything from Atomic Shop. So now the patch notes. For the patch notes, the update just hit. It's live already. The size is not too big. 
There is quality of life for help screen loading screens. Don't know how much helpful that will be, but I'm guessing should be. Then, surprising one, improve the and charge damage for the Gauss pistol. Not exactly sure how much and why. It is of course welcome whenever they improve damage or something like that. I'm all for it. Then players can now revert tire iron and walking canes back to default appearance if you put the paint on it. So that's the little fix. Even the dangerous pastimes is back on regular event rotation, which means rarely will appear as there's so many of them, but it's back, it's fixed. Then Storm Goliath, various balance adjustments. I'm guessing translation for that will be no more radiation weakness. I'm, they probably implemented exactly what's on public test server, which means radiation immunity from Storm Goliaths no longer will die in the first 15 to 20 seconds. Is this good or bad? I don't know. We'll see how long the fight will last now. I'm curious. Then Strangler Bloom will now have a chance to spawn in nuked regions where strangle paths are located. So they are adding a legit way to bloom those stranglers. Normally it was not possible. I was using a secondary character to trigger the blooming via quest and never finishing the quest when I was crafting rat shields. Now you can just nuke the area. That's welcome. That's cool. Quests. There is a various of broken quests that are now fixed, which is of course really good if you encounter any of those bugs. Luckily, I was able to complete all the quest lines, so I am good. I am good here. Then we have some more bug fixes, and maybe I will just stop on important ones. So neon letters are fixed. Should be placing better. Beef has sobered up enough to give out daily quests again. So if you are after those alcohol quests from beef, it should be working now. The jetpack at Union Power Armor, if you were suffering from the bug preventing you from crafting it, it should be fixed as well. After that, Muffman Tom buff persists when exiting and re-entering server. Very good, it was so annoying, it was disappearing all the time and that's such an important experience buff from your camp. So this is really good. After that, there is some minor fixes, but this is interesting one. Selecting max when exchanging treasure notes now selects the correct amount. I need to test it. So supposedly it will exactly give you maximum you can exchange per day when you click on max. We'll see. Hopefully that works. Nocturnal supposedly fixed to do proper amount of damage. I did not even realize it was broken. You just can tell this effect is not being used. <laughs> I did it new. Something was broken with it, as I don't use it. I don't think anyone is. Are you using doctrinal prefix on your weapons? I don't know. I don't know anyone who does. And lastly, this bonus information, flyboy helmet and outfit. Let's craft it and let's see if it still works like that. So outfit, flyboy outfit. We already crafted the helmet part, flyboy. Outfit, there it is. You only really need the head part for the light purposes, but you can have both if you want. Did I equip it? It just disappeared. Oh, I did equip it. Okay, so that's how it looks like. Now the point is, yeah, the light still comes from the head area, so it's still there. It's awesome. Okay, now what I mean by the best light, notice the details do not disappear when you are looting with that. In dark areas, when you shine this light in front of you, it do not blow out any details. This is the only light like that. I think some helmets maybe offer similar functionality, but most of the lights that you can have, it's either the Pip Boy light that do shine too low and do not, do not really work as a functional looting light, or it's too bright and you cannot see a thing. For comparison, okay, that's how you see with this light installed for comparison i will show you with my power armor how it will be different so regular light or the pip boy light and why i like this particular one way more than any other options it's just 
superior. I'm happy they didn't remove it. I really like this functionality, this hidden functionality. Now that's the blue light from my power armor. Blue light is not the worst, but still do not give you as many details as flyboy helmet light. So blue light I'm using because power armor already is hard to use for looting, but you are losing colors with that. So it's not the best, better than white in my opinion. And lastly, if I would be using a regular peep boy light, so that's what's happening. Like it's shining a little bit too low and the surfaces remain very dark when underneath it is bright. Then the helmets, I don't have any at this moment, but they just offer too bright light overall. That's why flyboy helmet is just so superior. The difference is insane. Okay, that's... That's the side note, and now if you want to check out on Holiday Scorch Farming, we'll be live on Twitch, and later on I will try to upload a guide, a refreshed guide for this activity. And that being said, thank you all for watching, and see you all in the next one.